Hey guys, so today I'm going to be showing you how to make your own photography light box so you can take photos of almost anything. So here's just an overview of how it looks like. Alright, so let's begin. So here are the things that you need to build your own photography light box. You need a box. Basically, you can use a rectangle one, but um, preferably a square one that's really deep. Um, you need a sheet of white crystal board. Um, I got a half one here rather than buying a whole one because it fits my box perfectly. You need a uh, white duct tape, a pair of scissors or a box cutter. A box cutter is actually better because you're going to have to be cutting the box. Um, a pen or a sharpie and then a ruler. So the first step is to put your box together but if your box is already taped up together then you can just skip this step completely. So just fold in the edges and then get your duct tape and then just tape it together. So now that the bottom of your box is sealed, what, the next step is to just cut off all four flaps of your box. So take your box cutter and just start cutting at the edges. Okay, so now you have a box that doesn't have a lid. So the next step is to make three windows on the three out of the four sides of the box. If you want this side to be the top, then you're going to have two windows over here. If you want this side to be the top, then you're going to have two windows over here. Since I want the top to be longer, and the, I mean, sorry, the bottom to be longer, my base, I'm going to be cutting a window up here first. So the next step is to measure out the width of the border for all sides of the box, and then you'll be cutting out a rectangle in the middle to make the window. So get your ruler, and depending on the size of your box, you're either going to do a one and a half inch or a two inch width for the window. Since my box is relatively small, I don't want to make that wide of a window, so I'm going to do one and a half. So one and a half. So if you can see that, I drew a line all around the box, and out here, these are the borders of my window, and I'm going to be cutting out this rectangle right here. Okay, so now I'm going to use my box cutter, and if you have scissors or a knife or anything, you can use it. This, I got this box cutter from the dollar store, so it doesn't work very well, so it might take a while for me to cut it out. So now that you've cut out the lines, you can pop out the window. Since my box cutter isn't very well, it kind of ripped the box at the top, but that's okay because it's not going to matter. So now we're on to the other side of the box. So now that you've measured the one inch border all around the side here, you're going to do the exact same thing to the other side. Okay, so the next step is to cut it out again. Now that you've cut the lines that you've drawn, you can pop out the windows. That's one side. And the second side. So now you have a window here, here, and here. Next, you're gonna be getting your white tissue paper. And I got this from Michael's and you're gonna be measuring out the uh, width and length of the box and you're gonna be covering each of the windows with the white tissue paper. So get your tissue paper, lay it over top, and we just want enough so you can cover the outside of this window here. Now take your box, see if your paper fits over it, and yeah that should do for me. And you're going to tape around all the edges with your duct tape or any kind of tape. I'm just using white duct tape because I think it makes it look a little more neat.
So the reason we're sealing all the sides is so that we don't let any light in. The point of the paper is to diffuse all the lights that you're going to use to shine on the paper. There you go. So now you have one side covered. And now you're going to do the exact same thing to all the other two sides. So after you put the tissue paper on all the sides, this is what you have. So you have it covered on the top here, one side here, and the other side here. As you can see, I ran out of white duct tape, so I put um, clear masking tape on top, which doesn't really matter because all you're really worried about is how it looks on the inside, and it looks absolutely fine on the inside. So next you take your bristol board and then when you're sliding it in, make sure the bristol board stays at a curve rather than a 90 degree angle. And you're going to slide it in to see how much bristol board you need before you have to cut it. So slide it in here and push it in as much as you can to the back. And then if you want, you can cut off the excess, which is what I'm going to do. So once your bristle board is nice and cut, you're going to have to tape down the bottom of it and tape the top of the inside. And as you can see, it curves on the inside rather than having a 90 degree angle because we don't want harsh lines or shadows in our pictures. And now that you've taped your bristle board inside, it should be completed. And as you can see inside the box, it, the paper inside actually curves right over here. Over here. Yep, and there you go. Okay, so this is my setup for my light box. And as you can see here, I have a window which lets in natural light, which is good for photography. And as you can see, it photographs very well in this light. Or if you don't have a window, you can actually just buy light fixtures from um, Ikea. Like this lamp here was $4, and then this one here was $4 as well. And I also use the desk lamp I have at the top. And you're going to shine the lights through all the, the white windows that you made, and then the tissue paper is going to diffuse the light. So it's going to look a bit yellow, but that's okay for now. Turn on this lamp too, and then the top lamp. So this is what it looks like with all three lamps. I'm going to zoom in a bit, and yeah, it looks really well. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Please thumbs up the video, and if you like to see more videos of more DIY or makeup stuff, just subscribe to my channel, and see you guys soon. Bye!